Welcome to this brief guide on how to customize your start and exit settings in Outlook. Many of us are used to opening up Outlook in the morning only to be greeted by our inbox. But we may not necessarily work that way and may prefer Outlook to open up to a different folder instead. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. Here I am, I'm opening up Outlook. And just like I expected, by default, it's opened it up directly to my inbox folder. Now, personally, I don't really work out of my inbox folder. I've in fact set up a search folder for all of the items that I currently have flagged. And so every morning I instantly click on that folder so that I know what items I need to work on first. So to set this as my default folder, I click on the file tab in the ribbon and I hover down to the options selection. And once I select that, I'll get a pop-up and I need to select the advanced tab. Selecting the advanced tab will give me a set of options, including the Outlook start and exit settings. And as I can see, Outlook is set to open up to my inbox by default. Selecting browse will show me all of the folders that I have in my mailbox. And I can choose to select my search folder. I'm gonna select for follow-up and I'm gonna select okay. I also have an option for my exit setting where I can choose to empty my deleted items folder of all items when I exit Outlook. I'm gonna tick this to show you how this works. Selecting OK applies those settings. And as you can see in my deleted items folder, I currently have a couple of things that don't really matter. So when I hit exit, I'm gonna get a pop-up just like normal if I was to try and delete the items in my folder, where it'll ask me, am I sure I wanna permanently delete those items? Now that I've selected OK, I'm gonna reopen up Outlook and just like you can see here, I have success. I've been able to have Outlook automatically open up to the four follow-up folder, which is the one that I personally prefer. And if I jump over to my deleted items folder, just like we expect, there's nothing in there because it was all deleted when I closed Outlook last time. And that is how you configure your start and exit settings in Outlook. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.